Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha. Hey, welcome to Sportsman's Adventures, and you know what we do every November? We come down to Big Pine Key in the Marathon area to see our friend Pablo Rodriguez. And guess what Pablo's got us doing out here in the Gulf of Mexico? Catching the big cobias. Bent rods. Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper. That's what Florida oh, wow. is famous for. This week on Sportsman's Adventures, we journey back to the fabulous Florida Keys to fish with a familiar face, Captain Pablo Rodriguez. Today, we are fishing the shallow waters on the Gulf side of Marathon. Captain Pablo has gotten an appetite for a certain fish, the tasty cobia. And being the friend that he is, Captain Rick is happy to help Pablo get his fill. But in the Keys, you may be surprised at all the other kinds of fish that are attracted to your hook. Yeah, honey. Have you used those any of those metal loys? I have yet to use them. I've Remember been, I've been telling you how I've, much I like them. I've been dying to use the metal loids. <sighs> Do you need help with that one? We're good. Oh yeah. The smooth. Yeah, man. Smooth, smooth drag. Yep. <laughs> so Pablo. Man, I think I got a problem here too. There's we, your. We have. We're in the month of November, down here. All right, look at these jumpers. Off of Marathon. What happens is these fish migrate in, Rick, in the cooler months. Uh-huh. And uh, they come in, who knows, you know, they come in behind rays, they come in behind bull sharks, um, and they come and congregate around these wrecks and kind of hang out and eat and do a little spawning. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. Obviously, as you can see, it's kind of easy. You know, it's just a matter of getting out here and, and enjoying every moment of it. All hey, right, Captain Pablo. Rick, you want me to, you want to? That one's too small. Yeah. So you want to get him? Well, and I'll yeah. keep this guy for a second. Ay, ay, ay. There you go. Little trick. Yeah, man. Use it just like as you would a de hooker. You ready for that one? Yeah, you want to get that net? I could probably. Want to get him with the rappler lipper? Absolutely. Okay, here you go. As a leader. No, cooperate. Uh, There you go. Nice. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh. oh. And it didn't take long, baby. No. I think I was in the water for a minute. <laughs> Look at them all following this way. Oh, let me get on them. Come on. Let me Hop get in on here. Them. There you go. I'm under. Oh. You're on. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's like trout fishing in Flamingo, baby. Except we're catching cobias. When the water cools off, not only do we get cobias, but a lot of activity where it makes it fun for your family, makes it fun to even throw a fly rod at one of these guys. You all right over there? I'm perfect. Okay. You want to bring. So how do you like that metal loy? That's the first time you ever use it. Love it. Absolutely. What braid do you have on here? Hey, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, oh no. I have the suffix. That's the metered line because I use that rail a lot for dropping, you know, in 200 feet of water for groupers because yes, it has sir. a real fast retrieve ratio. And Jumper. a tremendous amount of drag. 
Yeah, I can tell. You know? I mean, I'm I'm trying to be light with it, you know, enjoy, enjoy the rod and the and the outfit, but yeah, you can tell that. That's the Shadow Stalker series of rod, right. seven foot, heavy. I mean, I could twenty to thirty pound rating. Right. And then I got this spinner here with the Azor 65, yeah. loaded up with 832 braid, uh, 30 pound. 30 or 40, I can't remember. It's working. Yeah, it is. It's working. <laughs> Definitely working. How many double headed? Could you imagine when I come out here with customers and I have two guys and I grab every single rod? Oh. Gosh. Hey, 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 oh. hey, hey, hey. Sorry about that, Yamaha. <laughs> <laughs> so you have two customers. And I bring them out here and I'd say, how chaotic would you like this day to be? And I'll grab five, six rods and just hook them all up. And as fast as they could possibly bring them in, I'd de-hook them. And it's right? just constant, constant, constant. Kind of like what we're doing. Yes, yeah, just kind of like this. Captain Rick, I think I'm going to drop another line down. OK. If you or if you need me to help you, yeah, I can help you. Yeah, why don't you. you assist me here? How'd you enjoy that? Another one, another release. You the man. If you could like get my hook out before you actually do all that, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, you want me to just get the hook out? You don't want? No, bring him in. I was just saying, you know. A good guy will get my hook out as quickly as possible so that I oh, can get back oh, into the action. Oh, that's what, oh. That's what I that's was what, meaning oh. there. <laughs> I understand your pain. Yeah. Nice. So let's take a second, talk a little bit about what we're using. We got a piece of fluorocarbon leader on here, 40 pound and 30 pound. We weren't sure whether the fish uh, were going to be a little shy. Obviously, it's not a problem with the wind, the water's got a little dirty so we can use 40 pound. And then we're using a VMC boxer jig. This is a three quarter ounce. As a tide pickup, we'll probably have to go down to a one ounce. Uh, as the tide starts to slow, we might even use a half ounce. So keep that in mind. They kind of like it kind of floating, not bouncing so hard. But if you do want to bounce a jig to a cobia, bounce, bounce, and drop the rod. Stay connected because he's going to eat it on that drop. That's when you'll feel that bite. Keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to get another pilchard and we're going to get back at it. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rapala. Catch the latest at rapala.com. Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Okuma. There's no stopping Okuma. And Startron cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. When you're moving a big offshore boat, it's all about thrust and trust. For thrust, nothing compares to the Yamaha purpose-built 5.3-liter V8 Power Pioneer. And for trust, Yamaha's new F350C model becomes the only outboard in its horsepower class to feature a five-year limited warranty. Never settle for less than complete confidence and control in the open water. That's Yamaha V8 Power. Get the best and forget the rest. one of the most ancient forms of hide-and-seek known to man. And nobody knows how to play the fishing game better than the backcountry guides and offshore captains of the Florida Keys and Key West. Ready or not, here we come.
Thanks for watching Sportsman's Adventures. You can catch all the happenings, contests, and appearances by visiting us at sportsmansadventures.com. There you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, but best of all, you never have to miss a show because you can find full episodes of Sportsman's Adventures along with tips, techniques, bonus clips, and even some bloopers. Also, if there's a product that we use during the show that you'd like more information on, you can find links to our sponsors at the bottom of our homepage. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you got, well. I got a Kobe on the come up. <laughs> Dang. Pablo, where you got us fishing in Jurassic Park? What you got over there, Captain? I'm not sure. Whatever it was, it was running. Now I set the leader up kind of, uh, the drag on that kind of loose. Oh, looks like you got a macro. Got a macro. And I have a cobia. You have a cobia? I have a cobia. All right. Jumper. <laughs> wow. Is that a king? Or is that a, that's a big Spanish there, buddy. Yeah, it is. Wow, nice Spanish. That is a nice Spanish. Goodness. Boy, you gotta be careful on those teeth. Mm -hmm. That's why you use circle hook. <clears throat> you wouldn't have caught him on a regular hook, unless no, it was sir. a long shank J hook. Get that line. <laughs> now you get lucky every once in a while. I you? do. I just reel that up into the rod tip. I'm gonna let this one go. Good job, Captain. <laughs> Careful, the Kobe might eat yours. <laughs> Good job, Captain. Good job. I like this place. Jurassic Park. All right, Pablo, swing him over here. I get the grip on him. Hey there, Mr. Kobe. <laughs> Got him. There he goes. Good job, Cap. Good job to you. Go ahead and get that. Want me to get that BMC. BMC out of there, that box of jig. All right, buddy. We're going to let you. you go. Careful for them sharks down there, Captain Rick. Speak for yourself. Cobia, <laughs> you're on your own here in a minute. There you go, buddy. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. He's gone. Good job, Pablo. Yeah, uh, man. Dang, all right. Give me a little love. We need a big one. A big one? Hey, like this one. Jeez. The guan fish. Guan, boy. Guan, guan. Yeah. Get the <laughs> damn fish, boy. Guan now. <laughs> Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Powerpole. Swift. Silent. Secure. Contender Boats. Performance through innovation. VMC, your expert in hooks. Williamson Lures for the Pelagic Playground. FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Suffix, the world's most hardcore fishing line. And Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. Hey, how do you like your contender? How do I like my contender? What's not to like? Dude, I just saw a contender, and man, I gotta give me one.
When you're paid to put fish in the boat, you don't mess around with the thing that puts fish in the boat. Always use the best line. your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Pigeon Key is that little five acre island underneath the seven mile bridge that was built way back when between 1908 and 1912. Henry Flagler, who was pretty much the man responsible for the state of Florida, especially South Florida, came down here with his vision of building the overseas railway all the way to Key West chose Pigeon Key as a five acre island to keep his 400 workers isolated and hard at work while building that railway system. Later in its history, it got converted into a fishing camp, uh, was in control by the University of Miami for quite some time. So what the Pigeon Key does now is we offer marine science camps to middle school, high school students, occasionally elementary college students as well that will come stay on this little island for a day up to two weeks. And while they're here, we teach them about the marine environment, we take them snorkeling, lead dissections, invertebrate collections, and let them explore this beautiful, pristine five acre island down here in the middle of the Florida Keys. So the way you can contact us is through pigeonkey.net is our website that has all the information, including our summer camp programs that we offer for students, school groups, there's history tours that happen every single day out here. So even if you're just stopping by, looking for a quick spot to take a break from your fishing adventure, come check out Pigeon Key. It's a beautiful historic site that you'll never be able to forget. Yeah, you got a very nice Kobe on, Rick. Or it might be a Goliath, dude. You know that? Ugh. He's pulling hard, Pablo. Ugh. Yeah, you got that nice little rod on there. You're gonna have to put some heat on this fish. You know where he's going, right? Yeah. Head of going wreck. Right for that wreck. And if you don't show him who Daddy Murphy is. Oh, oh. Now, you're doing a great job, Captain. Almost like you've been fishing here and there. You wouldn't happen to have any of those AFCO gloves, would you? Yeah, man, I got some Rapala gloves. Okay. AFCO, Rapala. They're back here Over in here. that hatch. Right back towards your feet. This one. Yep. Right back towards your feet. Yep. They're black. Yep. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh yeah. That's a lot of fish for a little bitty rod, bub. That's right, buddy. Nice jig head. Now you do know the regulations, and I try to stress this out to a lot of people, is these fish, you're not really, we're not allowed to take them out of the water. That's BS. It is? Yes. Really? What you're allowed to do is take the fish out of the water to remove the hook and actually even get a photo as long as you're in state waters. If you're in federal waters, then you are not supposed to take the fish out of water, and we're in state waters. Right. Well, what do you want? I need that fish grip, please. So if that's the case, you just taught me something because I've been... State waters, they want you to remove the hook if it's possible. The FWC does. Okay. Well, we got the hook removal. All right, let's go and just let him go. Perfect. Yeah. Good job, Pablo. <laughs> that's a lot of fish for a little bitty rod. That's right. Cool, let him go. You gonna let him go? I'm trying. <laughs> there he goes. Go, buddy. Go on. 
Bye. Down, down. So, that's the deal. If you're in state waters, the FWC actually says if it, what's best for the fish is to remove that hook. Yeah. It's okay to remove the hook. You know, if that means you got to pull the fish up out of the water to remove the hook, you know, especially just little fish like this. All right. But federal waters is a whole nother rules and that's, you're not supposed to take them out of the water. So anyway. Captain Rick, I got a situation out there. I, don't know I if see all see those it. cobias. Yeah. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail, custom trailer manufacturers. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands, Maverick, Hughes, and Pathfinder. Soft Science, supreme comfort footwear. The American Fishing Tackle Company, precision tackle and performance clothing since 1958. And the Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. It's one of the most ancient forms of hide-and-seek known to man. And nobody knows how to play the fishing game better than the backcountry guides and offshore captains of the Florida Keys and Key West. Ready or not, here we come. Hey guys, don't forget, if you're thinking about going fishing this weekend, you wanna make sure you check out the weather, check your boat, and check your gear. But most importantly, before you go fishing, don't forget to check out the Chevy Florida Insider Fisher Reports. We'll have Dave at the workbench talking about rigs and techniques, as well as new products, and Bree and all the captains giving you the hot spots from each one of their regions. Remember, every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, starting April 6th on Fox Sports Sun. When a boater experiences an emergency, every moment counts. An emergency locator beacon can make a big difference if you have a problem on the water. These devices send a signal via satellite to a search and rescue agency so that first responders don't waste time and effort trying to locate the boater in need. They can go directly to your location to provide assistance. You never expect to fall overboard or that your boat might break down or even sink but it can happen. New technology like emergency locator beacons will improve your chances of survival and give you peace of mind for your friends and your family. After outfitting yourself or your boat with an emergency locator beacon, make sure to stay even safer by developing a life jacket habit. The newer inflatable life jackets are so comfortable you won't feel like you're even wearing one. These are two tips that will help you make sure that you return home safely to your family and your friends. Don't take a chance. Wear your life jacket all the time while boating and have an emergency locator beacon on board. Safe boating saves lives. For more information, log on to myfwc.com. Oh, Ricky. You got him? I got something. <laughs> I got something. If it's got the rod bending, that means, oh, 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 now it's nice. pulling. Now nice. it's pulling. Oh, Ricky. Get him, Pablo. We got one. That's the beauty of fishing out here in the Gulf, bud. What is that? Is what? that you, you don't know. Sometimes you just don't know what you got, you know? Right. So many different varieties. It's like Christmas every bite. Right. It's always a surprise. Oh, Ricky. Looks like oh, a big cobia to cobia. me. That's <clears throat> another cobia. Oh, 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 Ricky. I'm coming in. Come on, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Ricky, you're on him. I think he you got your bait. Your bait's off, Ricky. Oh, oh, you got a bait. <sighs> I, like, I bounced him off your rod there, Bodna. Yeah. Off your line. You did great. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I could say I planned that. Meanwhile, well, we got another one hooked up off the back. Yeah. Wait. Oh, Ricky! 
Ah, Don't break my neck. Ricky. Open your belt, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Oh, Ricky. Good job there, Pablo. <laughs> Very nice fish, my man. Wait, wait, that was my rod. What? <laughs> How's it your rod if it's in my hand? Oh, 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 I see how it is. Pablo. Yes, sir. My back is starting to hurt. <laughs> this guy's going in the chum bag. These are some tackle testers for sure, huh, Pablo? Absolutely. That's what I've come out here. I got all my Akuma gear. Ay, ay, ay. There you go. Grab that lead up. I can't take no more. <laughs> oh, hold him. Don't let him go, Pablo. There he goes. There you go. Perfect. Hey. As our fishing day comes to a close, we head back to the famous Faro Blanco Marina. There, Captain Pablo's mouth begins to water as he cleans the day's catch. Looks like today has been another fulfilling sportsman's adventure. Keep up with the latest Sportsman's Adventures news and events by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. I've been having a hankering to have a little tuna tartar, and I brought my co-host from the Chevy Florida Insider Fisher Hi, Report <laughs> to reel them in. So, Bree, you ready to catch a big yellowfin tuna? I am so ready. It's been on my bucket list, and I'm so happy to be here in Guatemala, Casa Vieja Lodge, and I am so ready to get out on the water. Well, welcome to Guatemala.